thought I'd show you how to understand the SunPass diagram from the andrewmarsh.com softwares, uh, which are all online free software. So first of all, you need to go to the page andrewmarsh.com and then you click software and then you find yourself in this page here, which has a number of small apps. Then you click on the launch app of the 2D SunPath diagram. And then you can see that you have the SunPath diagram here. So the first thing I always do is convert it to the stereographic SunPath. This is effectively the same thing, but it's just a different projection. And so it's a little bit clearer than, um, for example, this one, which is a bit squished. Um, so it's just a different projection, but effectively it's the same diagram, uh, but just more visible. So we use that as a standard. Then you need to set up the latitude uh, correctly. So you need to find out what the light latitude is for the location that um, you're looking at on your project. So if you look here, we probably are somewhere um, in the South Hemisphere in Australia, for example, and um, in the UK, we'd be about somewhere around here. So it's important to do that because this is what really gives you um, the correct location then you might want to set up the longitude. So uh, say we're in London, we have Greenwich, so the longitude would be zero. Um, here you can see that you can change the day of the year and there's the red line here is moving. So as a reminder, the sun path diagram works this way. The north is up, this is obviously the south, east and west. Each of these lines, which are moving here, so the red line here represents the path of the sun for each specific day. So we're going to set it up here for the summer solstice, so I go in this menu here, I click useful dates and I go to summer solstice. So you can see it's the top line here. The numbers represent the different times of the day. So perhaps I'm going to set it at about 12 o'clock. So you can see at 12 o'clock the sun, roughly 12 o'clock. So at 12 o'clock the sun is almost exactly south which is what we'd expect. And the altitude, which is represented by these numbers here, that's the angle of the sun from the horizon. From the horizon. And it is also represented here. The altitude of the sun is around 60 degrees. Now, the azimuth of the sun is the angle of the sun from the north. So here, the sun is almost exactly south. So the angle of the sun from the north is around 180 degrees. So you can see here, the azimuth is 180. If you move the time of the day, you can see this little uh, red dot representing the sun is going towards the east. When the red dot reaches this black line here, it means that is uh, the point where the sun is at the horizon. So this is the time of the sunrise. So we can see this is at 3.45. So you have here the times of the sunrise and the sunset, which are indicated here. So that's about right. 
And you can see the sun at sunrise is on the north east. Yeah? And then the sun rises, goes towards the south and higher and higher. And then lowers at about just before five o'clock is more or less exactly west and then it sets as at 8.25 so you can do this for the important dates which are the summer solstice the equinox which is basically around the 22nd of September or March so you can see it's roughly the same for the spring equinox. And then we have the winter solstice, where you can see the sun is much, is much lower, much closer to the horizon. And the altitude during a 12 o'clock in winter is much lower. So I'm going to change the time. Oops, put this back there. I didn't mean to do that. Um, Winter solstice. Make sure. I'm... So if I look at twelve o'clock, the altitude of the sun is roughly fifteen degrees. So very low sun during the winter. This is how about as high as we'd go during the winter solstice. So I hope this helps uh, you to understand the sun pass diagram and how to read it. Um, and I'm going to do another little tutorial on how to uh, use some of the other apps here, including this one, which is very useful. Bye-bye.